What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B High Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, aka Big Galaxy of Ghetto <laughs> Mafia. It's been a big weekend, man. Talk it's to been, me. It's been the love out here, B High. The <laughs> love from the people. The How do love. you feel getting all of this love, Wick? It's, it's, I mean, it's humbling. You know, when, when you do a record, B High, you never know if that record is a hit record or not, mm-hmm. how you know it's when you put a little sample out there, the people are going to let you know, yeah, yeah or nay. Yes, you right. know what I'm saying? I don't put records out and, and, and the people be like, hey, hey, Wick, you need to go back in the lab, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, dropping this CeeLo and Wicked uh, record, just the, uh, the video here on your channel, I mean, the comments, the support is immaculate from all around the country. Yeah. Uh, people are sharing it. Uh, we had the uh, the release the video release party this Sunday. It was wall to wall. It it reminded me back. You know what I'm saying? It was straight from the deck when I first dropped. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Probably even bigger. My the God. whole city came out. Um, and it, uh, you know, matter of fact, we when we dropped the video, uh, shout out to DJ Jelly. Shout out to a uh, baby D. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lord, some some everybody was out. Some everybody yeah. was out there. But when we dropped the video, uh, somebody yelled, "Bring it back!" <laughs> and we they brought that thing back again. They don't play that thing fifty times in that behind. I'm like, man, I really got something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm I'm sitting back watching the crowd, watching everybody, and I said, you know what? You know, what I'm saying this is humbling, and. Um, and so right now, man, I'm on like a, I'm on like a, a a a high. I'm on a cloud. Yeah. I'm up in the, I'm up in the galaxy with this thing right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I still got a lot of work to do. It just you know because I've always been an independent artist. I started that in the '90s. Yeah. When it wasn't cool to be independent. Yeah. Everybody was searching out a major label to go run to. Yeah. To give away their music. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I stayed down, you know what I'm saying, doing the independent thing, selling out the back of the trunk. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm going into phase two now uh, with, you know, with all the DJs hitting the clubs up. If you're in the city, if you're in the southeast, I'm coming to, a, uh, you know, to your town uh, and I'm, I'm hitting these clubs, man. I'm getting it out the mud so that I can, you know what I'm saying, I can look back and say, you know what, I did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be high did that. Yeah. Hot Boy Turk did that. Yeah. Jody Breeze did that. Yeah. Tia did that. All of us did that. We did it together. You know what I'm saying? Our family, DJ Jelly. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. So uh, it's just a beautiful thing. And it also shows that when you get a lot of like-minded people together, look at the video, everybody that came out and supported me in the video and are still supporting me. When you get a lot of like-minded people together for the same cause, Mm -hmm. this is the kind of stuff that happens. When they see us as a unit and we're moving as a unit, People want to be a part of that. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what's going on right now. The, the motion is growing. If you uh, haven't seen the video, See Law and Wicked Break the Bank, go check it out. It's right here only on Beehive TV. If you have seen it, watch it again. <laughs> Share it again. <laughs> Cuss me out again in the comments or show me some love in the comments again. But right now, it's just a beautiful thing, and we got one. So now uh... – you had everybody out there in the video shoot, you know. I mean, I enjoyed the video. The video <laughs> was hard as hell. The party was wild to wild. It was like a zoo in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I even saw John William Flautis. He brought this damn flute off in the damn party. Uh, and he came in there. When I saw him, I instantly thought about my best friend, Andre 3000. Mm. And, uh, you know, because, I, you know, it was Tip. Yeah. Then it went to Gip. Yeah. Tip Gip. <laughs> And that's Andre. Yeah. Um, and me and uh, John, we 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 kind of laughed about it and everything. What would have been fine? Yeah. If I would have had him, and Andre, in that thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cranking that, that motherfucker up. What, they would have had to put a little two step in it, though. Yeah, exactly. You can't just, you I know, told him I said you need the flautist bop, man. Flo- you you got to bring the flautist bop to the streets, <laughs> man. You know, I done told that man. But nah, man, it, 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 it was great uh, for him to be there. And for people that think that, I've been seeing a few of the comments that think that, um, you know, maybe I went a little hard on 3000 about the flu lab, but then I had uh, Flawless. And that, that this video was shot back in uh, October. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Before I even, for, for the flute thing came yeah. out, before I even said anything about Andre and that and that flute. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Some stuff is just it destiny and the galaxy make it look like it was all it ran hand in hand. Yeah. But it did not. You That's understand crazy. what I'm saying? And you That's know crazy. that and you yeah, know no, that. I know that for a fact. Yes, yes, sir. So that's um 
I would love to get them two together on the record and and <laughs> yeah, and, and, be crazy and y'all let, and y'all let me just get in the okay, video. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you say now you want a feature from three racks, but you want him to play the flute on the record with John I want William him Flawless on the flute with Flawless on the on the flute. So three thousand. That'd be kind of crazy. So three thousand. If you listening to me, let's ride, <laughs> big baby. <laughs> That's right. I am so sick of your shit. Maybe, maybe, maybe we let them two play, and then I, uh, I, I rap a verse with our big, and me and big can be outcast. Okay, so, them so now be- you done just, oh <laughs> hell no! Now you just taking over the whole dungeon family. You want it for yourself? You know, yeah, that's right. You know, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. You know no, I mean? that ain't gonna work. Yeah, hey, we, hey, me and me and big can be outcast <laughs> for one for one song. <laughs> You know what I'm that saying? would be hard. I ain't even gonna lie though. That would be hard though. Well, that would be hard. But nah, man. It's all, I, I come from a place of love with Andre 3000, with, yeah, yeah. with Flawless, with the whole Dungeon family, with all of them, man. They support me. Yeah. Uh, the South Side and the East Side are come together, man. It's a beautiful thing out here, man. So it's nothing but love and utmost respect for 3000 and the whole dungeon for what they've done for the city. Okay, talking about teams and crews and stuff like that, we got to go to the West Coast because another one of our podcast friends and partners, uh, that Negro Daz, mm-hmm. he recently uh, went viral online because he was talking about Suge Knight's podcast that he has. And uh, I guess... Suge allegedly said that, you know, Snoop and Daz and Dre, everybody was jealous of Tupac. And then Daz came back and said, how could we be jealous of Tupac when we helped to break Tupac and make Tupac? It's amazing how the galaxy is working right now. And Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Talk to me. You didn't mm. even realize I got this song, did you? The dog food. <laughs> the dog food. My God. This shows you the galaxy, man, that I'm being touched by the galaxy, man. <laughs> now, let me say this right here. Let me take this off and say this. I try to stay out of folks' business. Yeah. Uh, came from Yin Yang Twins, told me this. He said, six months of the year, I mind my business. Six months of the year, I stay out of your business. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So... I try to um, stay out of folks' business, especially when I know nothing pretty much about it. I don't know the, the you know, the um, what went on behind the scenes with none yeah. of them. I don't know. Mama used to always say, if you if you see two people arguing from a distance, you don't know which one the fool is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I have met Suge maybe two times, yeah. and out of the two times I met him, only one time I got a quality conversation out of him where we yeah. went in a club, met him at a club one time, and then I think when I was in L.A. for a BT Awards some years back, yeah, uh, we went up there, uh, we went up to his hotel. We were staying in the same hotel. That's what it was. Yeah. And so we all kind of chopped it up then, okay? Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't really know this man to know what went on behind the scenes. But one thing I do know is that I have a new record with Daz coming out. Yeah. We have already done the record. <laughs> yeah. And from me dealing with Daz, yeah. um, I'm a pretty good judge of character. Yeah. I don't see a hating bone in Daz's body. And I'm not just saying that because of a record. Yeah. The reason why I have the record with Daz is because I, I know that he is not a hater. Exactly. Because I don't go trying to do record with no nigga that's hating on me. Exactly. And that's running around here that's being messy. Yeah. And is a hater yeah. at heart. You know, yeah. I, you know we got certain rappers out here that every time you look up, they got a problem with somebody. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? So they move from person to person to person to person to person. That's not Daz. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Daz, a, it, when, when, you know, me talking to him, uh, he jumped right on it. He don't procrastinate. Yeah. He's a great producer. Um, he, he've always kind of, you know, uplifted me. Mm-hmm. Hey, Wick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, this sounds good right here. Maybe if woo 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 That's the kind, that's what I have taken from Daz. So yeah. it would be hard for me to if I looked at the, this situation, what you just said, because yeah. I haven't been following that. I've been so worried trying to get, you know, I'm trying to get rich like Daz. You understand what Come I'm on. saying? So, uh, but if, you know, if I looked at it from a distance and I had to make a comment on what I know from the, the two interactions with both of those two guys yeah. and my interaction with Daz, I would be riding with Daz. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um I don't believe that Daz, why would Daz want to hate on Tupac? And and like you just said, that they built the whole, uh, what what album was that? Was that All Eyes, all on, eyes me? on Me? Right. Ambitions you know as a bride. And not only just that, for all, Daz has, and you know, I got a sore throat behind from the party, yeah. from rapping. So, exactly. So I can't get too much hype today. But, uh, 
Daz, not only Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, some of everybody yeah. this man has has uh, rolled with and built them up. You know what I'm saying? Daz has done stuff behind the scenes and not even taking credit for it. The people didn't even know he did those records. Yeah. So I don't see him being the type of guy as a hater. You know, I, I just don't see it at all. It'll be hard. You would have to show me video of Dad's hating on me or something yep. for me to believe that. If you came to me and said, Dad, talked about you like a dog with <laughs> I'll say, no, it was you behind talking about me. It was you. Before you even pointed at Dad's. No, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even point at Dad's. <laughs> so I mean, uh, I think that is I think that, you know, the whole thing is 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 um typical of crews. They're not the only crew, they're just airing their crew their stuff out on the internet. But we go through this every day. Niggas in my street. Be from from McAfee to Green Fort, from Green Fort to Mirror Lane. I know you ain't from the East Side, so you might know what I'm talking about. But these are streets back to back yeah. to back to back. And we'll beef with the next street over, and three days from later, we all meet at the park and we good. Exactly. If we don't shoot it out first. Yeah. But normally, we all make up. You understand what well, I'm saying? See, so, that's, that was really the question that I had when it, came to these, when it comes to these crews and stuff like that. Why is there so much division on the inside of these doggone crews? I, you know, if everybody was on the same page, even at death row, it ain't no telling how much more money could be generated from everybody over there. So it's like, what does it take to get people on the same page to make the money again? Or is it that everybody got too much money and niggas are just like, fuck it? Well, well, I, I know one thing they can do to... um. To bring everybody together, uh, Snoop and, and Daz and all them can do the remix to this <laughs> CeeLo and Wicked album, and we drop it through Death Row and get this money, and I can get oh in the middle. God. I can get in the middle of all of it. Okay, you understand? Okay. Matter of fact, I can call. I go down there and visit Snoop and get a drop from him. On it from so <laughs> you go get Andre and John William Floatis on the beat making the track, right? You go get a feature from Big Boy. Yeah, that's we, one song. We would be outcast. Y'all to be outcast, <laughs> right? Okay. Then you go get a track from uh, Daz and a feature from Snoop for the album too. You go remix the song you already got with Daz. But we we we, we have to have Suge bring the song in. Oh, so then you want Suge speaking I, at the front I of your need, song? I need Suge. Uh, <laughs> we let him speak at the beginning. Of it. But okay. no, I'm just joking, man. Uh, the whole thing is just they're all. I look up to all of them. Yeah. So I'm not gonna step my foot in one side or the other half. It's, it's it's not really my business. But I don't see Daz as a hater to nobody. I see Daz as a person that has built the hip hop community up. Mm -hmm. I see him as very humble. Mm -hmm. I see him as a great guy. Period. Okay.